folks welcome back to the channel it's been a wee while today I've got a lump of cherry strangely enough on the lathe and uh, I'll show you that in a minute I'm going to be making uh, a matched pair of urns uh, in this particular video so uh, we'll see how it goes there's going to be no live edges and natural edges etc uh, it's literally just going to be uh, a cherry urn um, and then duplicated obviously I won't bother videoing the duplicate because unless something disastrous happens it'll be exactly the same as doing this one but, uh, let's have a look at the bit of wood to start with alright here we go it's uh, still green cherry so obviously it's going to crack and twist it's about 11 inches by 7 at the moment but it'll be about I don't know 5, 6 maybe I'll try, try and keep it as wide as possible because obviously you need a uh, certain depth inside And that's what we've got at the moment. Right, I've moved on to the old half inch bowl gouge. There's a, there's a couple of branches here and it was uh, or were a couple of branches. It would become extremely difficult. And this one's uh, tending to slice through, it's okay. <laughs> That's roughly a cylinder, I've finished it off or anything, it's just roughly 5 inches in diameter and at the moment it's about oh, it's 9 3 quarter inches in length may well yet have a bit of uh, live edge to it we shall see, I've also put a tin on either end just in case I need to do a double flip at some point plus it also squared the ends up which is a good thing now what I've got to do is decide on what it's going to look like right well I've got it taken off the centres and mounted up in the chuck this is going to be the bottom end of the stand or base or whatever we we'll do a bit of work on that now to create the base and see what happens from there. There's a few splits and cracks. I we'll have to be doing some filling at some point by the looks of it. But, uh, let's get this bit done, start getting some shape into it so I can see what, uh, what I'm going to do. shape up the other end there ish needs to be that sort of mm -hmm. 
Put that there, I reckon. shape defined now. I think that's uh, that'd be okay. Be plenty of room inside. Hopefully. What I'm going to do now is um, start uh, consolidating the shape. Really, get the final design idea sorted out. I haven't really got a specific design in in mind. Um, obviously do something a bit twiddly with the base and a little bit here I don't want it to be, to be too ornate or decorative um, I just want it to be functional really and it looks like we are going to keep a bit of a uh, bit of a live edge in there which was a surprise to me bit of a natural edge there so you'll have to disregard everything I've said in the uh, opening statement. There's a lot of cracks coming. So I think I'm going to be having to do in some filling. Anyway, let's see what we can do semi-decoratively. sandpaper over it and see what it's going to look like yeah, nice bit of cherry lots of uh, splits etc a lot of stabilizing today <laughs> right, well, it's all finished to 400 I'm going to put a coat of uh, sanding cedar on to help protect it and uh, we've got to look at uh, turning it round and getting it hollowed out. Once I've done the hollowing out, I'll start then sorting out these cracks with something. I'm not quite sure what. I'm sure, something will spring to mind. Right, it's all turned round in the old chuck. Uh, I've put the steady rest up because it's actually quite a lump of wood. I've got a hollow out here, and it's uh, if I put too much pressure on the side wall, I could end up uh, making it fly off and do all sorts of weird things. So I'm going to drill right the way through. I need to go through ooh, about nine inches. the final bit of drilling done now it's down to tool work at the bottom there but I'm going to leave that for a while because that is hot in there
and there are more cracks appearing and of course it's going to dry out a lot quicker now it's thinner so uh, I'm going to leave that a couple of days to dry out alright there you go progressing with the old hollowing out mm, it's a bit fun that isn't it deeper get the meat out really I'll take too much off here and that uh, it, could, it could still wobble horrendously and fly off or break or whatever and we wouldn't want that I'll get you back when we get a bit closer Okay, well that's the uh, that's the last bit of the hollowing done. That'll be down to a lot of sanding now, and then I've got to see about uh, sorting out these splits. Lovely, because there's a lot of right. Them. Once again, uh, that life and work has got in. Uh, got in the way of wood turning and the urn that I've got on the, the lathe has uh, well basically it's dried out <laughs> and it's all shapes at the moment I'll show you in a minute I'm obviously not going to use it for its uh, original intent uh, but I am going to see if I can uh, freshen it up a little bit I don't want to change the shape too much. Uh, there's a lot of splits. I've filled a couple. I'll show you in a minute. And what I'll do is try and uh, turn off the, the top of the urn. If I can get something circular so I can attach another piece of wood to. And recreate the top. And the base. Well, the base is... I'll show you, I think that'll be the best thing. Right, here we go, it's a lovely bit of cherry, very green unfortunately, but as you can see from that, that's more of a an oval shape than a round shape, and if we go around here you'll also see that it's uh, quite a long way out there, and as for the base, well, I think I just left it a little bit too long. Alright, there was a long split down here which went all the way through. I'll fill that with uh, CA and sawdust, so that's got to be uh, looked at. A little crack there, which I've done similar to, and up there. Now as I say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down and see if I can actually get some sort of round shape on there. And then attach another block on the top. And see what happens. So I'll get back to you when I'm set up. Right, here we go. I've made sure it's tight in the chuck. Because uh, when I first looked at it, uh, it had actually shrunk so much. The only thing holding it in place was the steady rest, so I'm glad I didn't turn it on before I tried it. But that is uh, quite significant. We'll see what we can do anyway. Hate to give up on any project. 
Okay, that's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. What I've done here is I've taken it off a little bit and I've got a I've faced that off. It's still quite a way out of shape, but I'm not too worried about that. And I've got a uh, this was actually going to be the lid, it's a bit of walnut attached to a bit of oak. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on there, epoxy it on, and I can uh, return some sort of a top on it maybe. Right, the glue's gone off, so I'm just going to round this bit out and see what the score is. hate it when you're starting to get things back right and then it all just goes whatever anyway for the moment I'm going to leave it there because obviously my tools need a good sharp up I'll leave a bit more pressure on there overnight just to make sure the epoxy has gone off properly and we'll see what we can do tomorrow Right, due to that little bit of break out there and the rest of it all being cracked what I've decided to do is do a similar thing there with a bit of walnut and a bit of oak down there on the base so it'll match top and bottom first of all I'm going to put a, uh, a tenon on the end here so I can uh, hopefully turn it round what I might do is just actually turn this down split across there isn't it which will leave a tenon on this end which I can attach the uh, the base to although it doesn't really matter it's a bit of turning practice right I'm going to glue a couple of bits of wood up for uh, to make up the base, I think. Well, sometimes folks, you've just got to know when to quit. I've got that on a tenon. Tenon sheared off, it's fell off, and that's cracked the base. So, yep, for now, it has beaten me. So I'll edit it out and put the video up. Shame you didn't see that happen actually. But my own stupid fault. I've got it out here, just trimming off the end and it was a bit vibrationally. Vibrationally, is that a word? Could be. And of course I just pushed a bit too hard. Snick. Out it flew several different parts after I just made the new base that's what it would have looked like when the base was stuck on and trimmed and stuff but not today right I would like to say thank you to all my subscribers, but I don't know if I'm going to get many after this. Uh, thanks for all your support. And uh, hopefully the next one I'll do might even get finished. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.